Blending and mixing light can sometimes be a complicated process, but today I'm going to be showing you a quick trick on how you can create a specular highlight effect in your photos just using Photoshop. And I'm going to start right now. So blending and manipulating light might seem like a complicated process, especially in Photoshop, but if you're using particular blending modes, it makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to quickly show you how you can do that now. So we're going to be using this photo here, and what I'm going to be doing is emphasizing or overemphasizing the LED or neon light panel you can find on the left-hand side of the photo, and brighten that area up and add in a bit more spectral highlight. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a new layer, and we're going to use a brush to create this effect. So what we're going to do is go down to the new layer icon found in the bottom right hand corner and we're going to work on this layer here. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to the brush tool found on the left hand side tools panel or B on your keyboard and we're going to make quite a large brush. Now I'm going to use go to our color palette here making sure we're painting white as our foreground color. Now I've reduced the flow down to around 20% so we can add it in periodically. So what I'm going to do is start painting in that area. Area. Now, what's special about eight particular blending modes is opacity and fill change the projection differently than it does with transparency. So, what I can do is go to our blending modes here, and I'm going to go down to one of eight, and I'm going to go to color dodge. And I'll quickly show you a representation. Opacity, if we go ahead and change that, just changes the transparency or opacity of that layer. But if we go to fill, it changes the projection. And as you can see, it drops drastically changes the overall outcome and it's all to do with how the layer beneath it the luminosity is affected so as you can see we're adding in this brighter effect but I'm not going to go for such a bright effect like so so I'm going to drop it down to around 50% but we're not done as of yet there's one more effect I want to do what we're going to do is go to that layer here we're going to right click and we're going to go do blending options now inside blending options we need to go to transparency shapes layer and we're going to go ahead and turn that off. What you'll see is the layer beneath it actually reacts now differently. Instead of creating these harsher lines, what it will do is it will use the luminosity of the underlying layer to apply the effect more evenly. So what I can do is show you the before and I can show you the after. And if you spend a little bit more time on it, like this one I've made previously, these particular effects look really, really good. And write down in the comments below if this particular effect worked for you.